Hi everyone, this is Dan, and this is uh, Youngblood <laughs> by Rob Liefeld, <laughs> the next generation of heroes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So this, uh, this series is uh, part of my uh, uh, retrospective on Image Comics, uh, and so part of that uh, is revisiting all of the uh, uh, first issues of Image Comics. So I'll be doing uh, Youngblood, Spawn, um, Cyber Force, Wildcats... Uh, Pit and Wetworks. I will not be doing Gen 13 or Warhawk. I decided to leave those ones out for those of you who are curious. Uh, but, uh, anyhow, sorry. I can't stop laughing. I just finished this book. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Rob Liefeld. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know who Rob Liefeld is, besides being the butt of uh, a lot of jokes on the internet, uh, Rob Liefeld first got his start at Marvel. I, I think he really became famous for jumping on New Mutants. In fact, he uh, got on the New Mutants uh, during uh, Louis Simonson's run. That was long after Chris Claremont was gone. And uh, he was a big driving force behind the New Mutants uh, eventually becoming X-Force. Uh, and by driving force, uh, he just... he. <laughs> What I mean is that he bitched to Bob Harris over and over again until he got Louis Simonson fired <laughs> and took over X-Force. Uh, but anyhow, uh, in, in terms of indie comic developments, especially Image, uh, he's uh, well known for Youngblood. Uh, at the time when this released back in April of 1992, it was the highest selling comic book in America. Uh, which is slightly depressing <laughs> in its own way, uh, but also possibly encouraging for those of you out there who, uh, you know, want to make it big. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, this book is actually rather interesting. So there's two sides to it. There's a uh, short story side on this side. I think it's about 12 pages or so. And then if you go to the other side, you'll notice that, wait, this image is upside down because da da da, -da printed on the other side is a backup story. So you kind of you know, go back and forth by flipping it up like this. Look at that. Look at that, huh? <laughs> Anyhow, Rob Liefeld was the, uh, I guess you could say, almost stereotypical 90s artist. Like, almost indicative of the style of this decade. Uh, I mean, you could argue both uh, uh, Jim Lee and Todd McFarlane. I would also have that title, but uh, Rob Liefeld was uh, most famous and possibly infamous. Uh, in terms of his style, right? So, anyway, that's enough uh, bickering. This is Rob Liefeld, Youngblood, The Next Generation of Heroes. First exciting issue for two fifty back in the 90s. That's actually pretty expensive uh, for the time that this came out, right? And we open up. It's uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, some chicks yelling about unbelievable. Uh, by the way, Rob Liefeld, and I'm going to point this out, like, his ladies look very similar. <laughs> That's what I noticed. <laughs> this is about the extent of his backgrounds, by the way. <laughs> so anyhow, this guy uh, goes on and we get uh, some dude getting ambushed in the mall. Uh, he's got kind of like this weird fro. Uh, and he ends up beating these dudes and, uh, you know, the press uh, comes by to interview him. Uh, and he gets introduced as Shaft, as a member of the Youngbloods. Uh, by the way, like, all of this is what the internet will tell you uh, is wrong with Rob, Rob Liefeld, uh, is all the tiny feet. Uh, for me personally, uh, looking at Rob Liefeld, and I'm going to show it in a couple other panels, uh, my biggest problem with his characters is uh, they all look like ghosts. And I'll explain that in a little bit. <laughs> anyway, we get introduced to this character. This is uh, Bedrock, and uh, apparently he's a little boy or something. I don't know, it's not really explained. Uh, and then this dude doesn't really get introduced, so I guess he's... He's not important. <laughs> By the way, I know that they introduce him in this front page right here. But I'm just saying, in terms of the writing of the story, no thing's really introduced. Uh, there's Chapel. He's uh, sleeping with some chick. And then some other chick. I don't know who this is. She doesn't get introduced, so she's probably not important. Uh, and then a bunch of people floating around. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't help it. Like, look at that. More people floating uh, more people. <laughs> Sorry. These these uh, figures you'll notice like like take a look at this figure right here, and then uh, here let me show you something right here. Yeah, take a look at these figures. Right, they all basically look the same. Right, so Rob <laughs> literally like copy pasted a bunch of figures over and over again. Right here, it's uh it's pretty bad. By the way, this is like the best background he draws in this issue. <laughs> Anyhow, 
Uh, they end up hunting down uh, this group of villains, which I kind of don't really care for, but, you know, whatever. Uh, and they have some subtext going on. I don't know. Nothing's really explained. And then you get a big fight. So I'm stopping this video uh, for a quick observation. I screwed up. I completely missed this panel right here. And uh, what I mean is uh, this. Uh, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> oh, man. He's like pelvic thrusting him, this dude to death. Holy crap. Just, <laughs> I, guess, I guess Rob was drawing this and he was like, fuck anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, if this review sounds like I'm just trashing uh, Youngblood, uh, it's because I am. <laughs> I'm not saying Rob Liefeld is a bad artist. If you like Rob Liefeld, more power to you. And I'm sure he's drawn a lot of great stuff, too. Uh, but this ain't it. <laughs> Whew, boy. All right. Uh, back to our regular scheduled program. And then uh, here comes the young bloods, and here comes. This. So this chick right here is like this is what bugs me the most about Rob Liefeld is everyone's like floating in the air. Now the small feet is like a style thing. I personally don't really care for it, like, or I mean I don't mind it so much. I should say I don't think it's something that you know he should be ridiculed for. It's like eh, whatever. He draws small feet, right? Uh, but the whole floating in the air, and then if you take a look at this, like the the anatomy kind of. Like, it kind of doesn't make sense. It almost feels like he drew this separate from this, right? Uh, but, yeah, no, this is a very interesting pose. Anyway, uh, the, the story basically ends on this double-page spread, and, and that's pretty much it. But you go to the back side, and we get a totally different story. This one actually is a complete story, uh, which, thank God. Uh, by the way, uh, you better get used to these news reporters here for this image series, because this whole, like... A uh, news report on like cable TV kind of bullshit from the 90s. Uh, it's gonna get repeated for like like four more issues that I'm gonna go over. So get used to it. Anyway, they're explaining some kind of terrorist situation out in the Middle East. Blah 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 blah. A uh, big double page spread. Uh, this guy. I've been looking at this double page spread for a while, and I I feel like something is off here. Like, I don't know where the perspective goes. I, I know it's flowing this way, but then the way this guy is set up doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, and then, th obviously, this guy's body doesn't make sense, but whatever, Rob Liefeld, you know. And and then this guy's huge, but this chick is really tiny. Like, am I taking crazy pills here? I might be taking crazy pills. Uh, maybe maybe I'm nuts. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe I, I just don't understand this, this masterpiece that I'm... Uh, I'm looking at right here. <laughs> anyway, uh, they're jumping in, and here's what I want to get to, right? The story doesn't matter because Rob Liefeld doesn't really coherently <laughs> explain it to you. It's a lot of, like, really cheesy one-liners back and forth and a lot of, like, action poses and stuff, and it takes this crew, like, freaking, like, ten pages to get to the bad guy in the building that they just hella jo jumped into, and then this guy right here is, like, supposed to be some psychic Green Lantern badass. And, you know, he basically murders the bad guy. He straight up murders him. <laughs> that's insane. And I looked at this and I was like, everyone is like, oh, wow, that's pretty bad and everything. And I'm like, dude, isn't this supposed to be next generation of heroes right here? What kind of hero just murders a dude without any, like, provocation? What the hell is this crap? <laughs> Oh, this book is so bad. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, it, to make it any worse, so they, the dude murders uh, this, uh, I guess, dictator or whatever, and then they cover it up by saying terror ends in suicide. So, because I don't know if this is, like, some sort of commentary on, like, uh, maybe, like, uh, U.S. freaking involvement in, like, world events or something like that. But the whole story is nonsensical, and it ends with, like, our supposed heroes being very unheroic. Uh, and that's it. You get a half story and a story that doesn't make any sense for 250, and a bunch of people floating around in the air. <laughs> and that's, that's Young Bloods in a nutshell. I mean, I could probably go further into detail, but I'll be honest with you. Uh, just go out and, and, and get this book, and you'll kind of understand what I'm saying. By the way, this book was 250 and I picked up Young Blood at a... In fact, I picked up all of these books for really cheap. In fact, I'll go grab them right here. Let's 
So yeah, this book I picked up at my local, I think, uh, I forget the name of the discount store that I went to, but it was about a uh, dollar, and then uh, Savage Dragon was also a dollar, uh, Wildcats was a dollar fifty. I don't know why, maybe because they said Jim Lee was on it. Uh, Cyber Force was a dollar. Uh, Wet Works was a dollar fifty, and I think that's just because of this stupid thing right here. Uh, the only thing I couldn't get for a dollar from this era uh, was Spawn. I actually had to go buy uh, Spawn as a trade paperback. And as you can see, this trade was $10. I actually got it a little bit less than $10. And it gave me uh, all six, uh, the first six issues of Spawn. And uh, I'm going to be dead honest, uh, having read it, I think I wish I would have got it for less than what I got it for. Because <laughs> it wasn't that great. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, this is going to be a long series. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, that's the video, folks. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, uh, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. If you got any comments about Rob Liefeld's Young Blood Number One, uh, leave it down below, and I'll see you next time.